Why? Oh, okay. I like this show. I enjoyed it. But, my gosh. Did I like the second half of the show? The second half of it just. Did the writers just give up? I mean, seriously, at the end of it, at, at the second half, did they just give up? I mean, like, they were like, hey, you know what, hey, we gave her a good shot, but you know what, hey, let's just start doing something different. You know, let's, let's, let's go for, like, a whole 180 with some characters and stuff, so. Which, that's basically what they did. Actually, just to be honest, not even at the second half of the show, basically almost like in the direct, the middle of the show, they completely just took a 180 on everything. Oi. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Darling in the Franks. Darling in the Franks is... It's a mech anime, sci-fi... Whatever. And to be honest, at first, it was a really good show. But at first... Yeah. Okay, let's get started. The story is basically, is, is basically this. Mechs, monsters, fight. Mechs, monster, aliens, fight. Mechs versus mechs fight. Mechs versus almost everything. If you don't want, you know, this is basically mechs. If you don't know what a mech is, well, you should know since you know you kind. Of, since nowadays everybody knows what they are. Well, basically, basically they're giant robots. Giant robots that fight things. Yeah. Okay, let me get get the rage out for right now. Just take it down. Breathe. <sighs> okay. In this world, Earth, human societies has gone to these things called plantations, where they all live and all, everything else. And before, before a grown adult gets, before a grown adult goes into the society, they have to go, they have, as kids, have to fight monsters so they can earn their rights to go into the world. And basically, it's a rinse and repeat process. Kids fight monsters, adults live in society. And be safe. If they choose, I guess. I don't know. And the kids, they're not called kids. Kids are called parasites. And... And the, basically, they are made in a lab. Yeah, they're test tube babies. At a whole nother level. And they're not really given, they're not given names, they're given numbers, like 1162 or 0015, basically. So, and, and how they control mix, two, two kids, a, man, a girl and a um, a, a boy and a girl both team up together in a mech in a mech to fight. And how they drive it, how they control these mechs? Well, boy sits down in chair and girl sits down like this with joysticks coming at her butt. I am not. You cannot make this up if you even try. Trust me on this part. Yeah, that's basically it. How they control the mechs? And they're not called mechs. They're called franks. Get it, darling in the Franks? Yeah. So, yeah. Then, well, in one plantation, Plantation 13, one of the parasites set, weirdly cannot cannot get someone, a girl, to can have full control over of a Franks. Because the boy, he's a pilot, and the girl, she's a fighter. It's kind of like a team-based thing here, okay? So, yeah. Name Hero, she cannot... He cannot control, cannot pilot one for 
some odd reason. And then one day, this one one girl with horns sticking out her head, called 002, she never really gets a name, appears, and all, and then one then appears, and they become friends, and she calls him her dog. Darling and everything, so darling and the Franks, if you cannot get that. So, and then when then the plantation gets under attack, and all of a sudden he can't control the Franks with zero zero with zero zero two. Yeah, yeah so yeah. and he becomes now he can pilot, now he can become squad. And there's like a whole entire trial in there where. He cannot peek him. He's dying, but then he ends up not dying, and then the it's, it's a whole weird process. But let's just say at the end of it, he can, can he can pilot a Franks. Say all that much, yeah. 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 So that's basically the whole thing. He gets to he gets to pilot a Franks and. Only way he could do it's with zero zero two because all the others he can't do for some reason. Yeah. That's basically the whole show. At first, yeah. There's a there's a more. In the middle of it, the kids, parasites, they can start wondering, what about everyone else? What about life? What are these things? What are these things called emotions? Basically, this kids are going puberty. Let's say that. And you know that's scary. Trust me on that one. Yeah. Kids start learning about past lives, which is forbidden. And there's like a whole conspiracy that about everything else. And you get to learn about 002 past, who she really is, and all that. Spoiler alert, she's basically a, a clone copy of the queen of these things called fallen things. I don't know. Yeah, she's basically a clone copy of that. And... Hero, she he starts turning into one of them because of the bond they have and the bloods being mixed and all yada 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 all that stuff. So yeah. So, so that's basically. So let's talk about some of the characters. Zero zero two and uh, Hero. I like them. I really really do like those two. They are a perfect pair. They they like each other and everything and you know I like I like I enjoy them but the other characters I can't stand them yeah I can't I can't stand them I cannot stand the secondary characters the kids the other kids I cannot stand them and here's why at first, I did like them, because I actually felt bad for them, because they're going through all this stuff, they're learning about stuff, but they get getting it taken away from them, and all that stuff. I feel bad for them at first. At first. Until this one moment that really, I cannot understand why. And let me explain. At this one moment, Hero... And zero zero two, they are zero two. She keeps can't. She's going through something, and she she wants to become human, but she learns that she can't really be become human because of her monster like abilities and everything. And through this process, they learn that they used to know each other. They knew each other before, but the set the humans, the the adults, they took those memories away. Why? Because Zero Zero Two wasn't supposed to be discovered and all that stuff. And Hero, he goes through a whole thing and everything, and so does Zero Two, but, you know, Zero Two comes back, and Hero, he gets hurt and all that stuff. And since everyone knew that they like each other, you will understand that the, ki the kids, the other characters, they actually, f you might, you know, let them talk, you actually see each other. Nope, they keep them separated as much as possible. They they both one character she actually she actually guards Hero's door for, so he doesn't escape 
to go see Zero Two because he wants to go see her Zero Two. And Zero Two, she actually she has two two guys guarding her door, so she doesn't get out and go see him because they want to keep everyone separated because there's some kind of rumor that Zero Two is some kind of monster, which. By the way, she's a clone of a monster queen, so hey, and she, so she, so there's rumors that she actually devours her partners, kills them, eats them, and all that, which they at this moment should have known that is complete BS, but they refused her for seeing him. And later on, she actually busts the door down and actually goes, and everyone else still tries to keep her, even though she wants to see him, just because of this, because she actually cares for him. Not for, to eat him, but for care for him, because she likes him. And you know what, hey, Hero likes her. They actually care for each other. They are actually partners in this war thing. But, no! The other, like, nope, can't see him, nope, can't see him, can't see him, nope, can't, can't see her, can't see her, sorry, we can't let you see him, because it's for your safety. I call bullshit on this. Sorry for my language, I'm trying to keep this thing as PG as possible, but if there's a show that I'll review that has joysticks on girls' butts, you'd expect this to get not PG for a moment here. Oi! It was ridiculous. So, before this entire thing, I actually felt bad for the kid, to, for the Parasite kid, for uh, Squad Thirteen. That's what I call him. I don't know. What, I don't know if that's actually a squad name. There is. Think I right, put that in the comments or something. But uh, I actually did feel bad for them. But after this complete thing, they can go all die. If I, they can all go die. Ugh. Because at this moment, after, and, because it was just ridiculous. And one thing, zero, zero, 2, zero, 2, and Hero, they're their strongest teammates. So why not keep them together because they're so strong? They're not really being nice to them. They're actually being, like, torturous. Hero actually demanded that she go see her, and, and zero, 2 actually demanded to go see him. But they just kept each other separated. And then, and then, this happened. After 002 got what she wanted, she found out, actually, Hero actually escaped it. And 02 actually believed that they actually kidnapped him. And she all, he, so she beat them all up. And Hero saw this and calls her a monster. Which ticked it off 02 and she left. She leaves. And then, irony kicked in, and I was so happy this happened. This is actually the point, a turning point in the show, by the way. This is the turning point of the show. I, so, they don't, so, both three, I think, three uh, plantations came together to fight Maybe might be the final battle. Maybe, maybe not. So, they fight off these giant creatures. These creatures. I don't know what really they're called. I really don't care. And one of the plantations gets destroyed. Another plantation gets destroyed. Plantation 13 almost gets destroyed. But, it did not. Because, here, they actually, for once... I just think, you know what? Maybe we might want them be together. Maybe we might want to keep them together. You know? Because they're strong together. They actually care for each other. For once. You know what? I think those kids were just like, you know what? Hey, we tried our best to keep them separated. Why not Why not just let them be together? So, hey. Let's let, let them be together so they can destroy this giant monster. Yeah. So, eventually, Hero... Hero and Zero Two actually do fight the monster and actually defeat them. And they confess that they love both each other. And they both kiss. So, whoopie doo! Oi. So, you might be thinking, after this, hey, 
do the kids say sorry for what they did to those two? No, I didn't hear no apology. I don't hear nothing after that. I didn't see a one moment of them saying sorry to Hero in Zero Two for doing that complete bullshit. Oh, and you know what? After that, they decided, you know what, why don't we have a wedding for two of the characters? Oh, I was so happy when that when the government actually intervened in that one. Even though I did feel sorry for one for the girls because afterwards something happens. <laughs> so yeah. So, yeah. So, the characters in this, if they died, I was like, thank you. Yeah, so. So, yeah. So, if any characters died during the show, which characters did die, but some of them were just like secondary characters that you didn't really know about, so you really care. Let's just say this. None of them really the main characters actually died. During battles. So. Now. And you might notice that I did. At the last review I did talk about. You know the end. I did say it might have a controversial ending. Let me tell you why. So. Let's talk about the ending. Because you know what. Let's f put spoilers out of here because this is going to be a spoiler here this is going to be a major one let me tell this one okay at the end of the show okay at the end of it after the adults leave some of them didn't some adults still stayed because of this mystic force and everything come to find out the enemies that they've been fighting are actually them let me explain. The mechs that they actually riding, actually drive, actually dr piloting, actually the same ver same exact models, but a little different of the enemies that they're fighting. Yeah, so it's kind of confusing that the enemies that they're actually fighting are actually trying to protect the planet. Trying to actually protect. The only reason why they're fighting them is because of the magma energy that they, they have. Because, watch some of the episodes if you want. After I watch, say this. So, yeah. So, they find out that. So, they, there's actually a new enemy. A new enemy that they have to go, they have to be worried about because they might destroy the planet. So, that happens. Yeah. Then, then, after that, Zero, zero, 002 and Hero, they they eventually get back together because major battle and all that, and they got to go, and then they find out they have to go to space to fight off the final enemy. And that the final enemy, after they destroyed it, they die. And back on Earth, because they are actually on another, pl another planet, millions of the galaxy away, they die, the other kids have now grown up, have kids of their own. Basically, planet Earth is saved by a bunch of, bunch of jackasses. Oi! Re, recall, repopulate the, but repopulate the planet. And everything. And yeah. And Zero Hero and Zero Zero Two, they're both dead. I don't care what they think they're going to be staying together. Yeah, they're going to be staying together and spirit souls and all that. And then they do eventually get back to Earth as souls into the giant tree that has been formed around what they, uh, by around Zero Zero Two's stone body and everything. And a plant grows up years later after everyone's dead, probably. They come back as reincarnations of themselves. As kids. Oi. So basically, at the end of it all, 
the world was repopulated by the jackasses, and the heroes of the story both died. Why? Oh, Hardy. Oh. <sighs> the entire ending of this was really hard to, to get my head around up because I was still trying to figure out what just happened. Oi. That was basically my crash course. Let me explain the entire ending. Basically, the enemies that they've been fighting has not been really been their enemies. They're just been, they, they have actually been trying to, I mean, yeah, they've been trying to been killing each other, been trying killing them, but come find out, they weren't really the true enemies of this, of all this. The true enemies actually have been, in, been, been, been part of humanity ever since this whole war started because this is like a post-apocalyptic world and everything so one episode they ex explains the history and everything so yeah so the enemies the enemies has actually been trying to fight another enemy yeah and an enemy they actually eventually reveal themselves they actually found it found out that's been higher ups of the adults and everything so they take all everyone who's in 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 the in the, uh, in the, um, in the plantations, everyone who's been, been considered, you know, immortal and everything, because that's the thing, so, yeah. Yeah. And kids, the kids, parasites, they actually learn the reason why that humanity has not been able to reproduce, because when they, when humanity gets, be able to become immortal, they give up the right to, they give up the reproductive and everything. So, yeah. So, they, they learn that they're actually the only people, they're actually the only things, they're actually just test tube babies and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. So, they found that out and everything. That's the reason why you were not know about the immort if you were not about immortality and everything. That was giving me my crash course and all that stuff. And then, I mean, this is not done. At the end, and the rest of the ending, the ending. Oh, Lordy. The enemy decides to say, if y'all don't surrender or anything, we're going to destroy your entire planet. So, yeah. And they're in a the process, the, the humanity's actual enemy, they are actually going up in space to fight them to protect their world and everything. They actually take one of the ultimate weapons of the humanity the, the humans actually actually build and everything so yeah in zero zero two is she's technically still in there her mind is in there and everything she's still connected and everything so that's she's not really moving not really responding and everything so here on the side she has he has to go up there and help help her out and everything so that's why they go to another they decide they have to go and destroy this thing to protect human world and everything so yeah they eventually they do so yeah. yeah yeah so yeah they destroyed it they died souls still you see those souls moving around and everything they eventually do go back to earth so yeah oh yeah and, and the jackass characters stay back on our reproduct redo the entire they redo the human race bring them back together repopulate yeah so all that lovely stuff so you have to can see characters actually move on with their lives so but you don't get to see that with zero two and hero yeah they both did they died yeah This show is ridiculous. At first, I did like it, but then, like at the end, of, at the end of it, I was just like, "What?" Or 
This is not good world building. You're confusing your people, your characters, the people. You're confusing us. Confusing us fans who actually watch this. It's really confusing. I. You don't do a complete 180 on every, a complete 180 at the end of your show. You don't do that kind of stuff. Oi. At the beginning of the show, when I was watching it, I just kept getting this feeling inside. Like, I've seen this kind of stuff before. And you know what? I do. I've seen this kind of over-action kind of stuff. Like, this over-action, this over-top action before. I've seen this stuff in Gurren Logan. And then, I, I did do my research, I actually found out that one of the people, one of the animators from Gurren Logan actually designed the Franks in this. So I was thinking, that makes sense now. And you know what? I'm comparing this show with Gary Logan because the ending Gary Logan was also complete crap. <sighs> well, at least Gynex has a thing, has is known for that kind of stuff, you know? So, hey. This is, I think this is not Gynex. I think this is like Aniplex or something like that. I don't know. Something. I don't know. Madhouse. I don't know, really. Let me give you my final thoughts. And then I end this and give you my final verdict. My final thoughts is this. This show could have been better. But. But I also think it, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Yeah, the weird. Weird way how they. How the. They. Tyler the Franks is kind of weird, you know, but, I mean, this is a post-apocalyptic world, and, it, and those things were designed by an old pervy man, which is like, so hey. Yeah. So hey. And, uh, yeah, world building in this show is really weird and confusing. And I've heard rumors that we might be getting a second season of this. And if we do get another season, I just hope there's better characters, the get better ones, you know, and actually explain things better, you know. Because it's really confusing. Yeah. So, yeah. So. And my, uh, Final verdict is this. I give it a 6 out of 10. I enjoyed it at the first. I enjoyed it at first. But then it just did a completely 180 on me. And I was just thinking, huh? And characters I liked it, did, I didn't end up not liking them. And everything. So, hey. I just like the music and the theme song of this show is really good. I like it. Yeah. And I give you this recommendation. I recommend you stream it any way you can. Go to Crunchyroll and stream it if you want to go to Funimation now, which is they're the ones who dubbed it. I'm gonna give a congrats to the dub. It was really good, the dub, I liked it. They actually put some characters Emotion to some characters. I liked the bad and everything. I actually felt bad for some of them. Even after the complete jackass moments they had. So, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Stream the show and all that. And also, this is something that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to give you some recommendations. Here we go. I recommend... If you like mech anime, I also recommend Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blood and Orphans. Now, I know you heard the word Mobile Suit Gundam. But don't worry, this show actually, Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Brother, and Orphans, you do not have to watch all of Mobile Suit Gundam to understand the entire world's complex and everything. You don't have to worry about any of that. This show is actually its own thing. It's a standalone series. Really good characters and all that. I recommend watch the first season and all that. That's really good. I have not completed watching season two, 
So I can't really recommend season two just yet. So, but you can watch that of your own liking. Another recommendation, if you like over top action and some weird stuff, watch Kill, Kill a Kill. So that show is really good. And it has some over top action and really, really ridiculous. And actually better world building. So, yeah. So, yeah, I recommend those two for if you like this. So, yeah. I am the Big Blue, and now, now I'm kind of feeling of reviewing another anime show, but I don't know what. Would they actually review an anime that doesn't really look like an anime? Ooh, I know what. What about Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt? Oh, this is going to, the next review is going to be red R. I'm going to tell you now. Because this show is really good. Better than this one. Oh, well. 